Hi, my name's Paul from Embroidery Source and the Use Digital, and today I'm going to be showing you the ESD uh, mug press. And this is a new addition to our range, and this is used for a dye sublimation printing onto coffee mugs, onto sports drinks bottles, and other cylindrical um, items like, for example, stubby cooler. So this is done with the mug press. And then of course, the most common items are coffee mugs. So what we're going to show you today is we're going to use the ESD mug press to transfer a dye sublimation image onto a coffee mug. This is an 11 ounce white coffee mug. And now you have to bear in mind that anything that you dye sublimation print has to either be white in color or light in color, and it has to be coated with a special uh, a polymer film or polyurethane film. So you can't just go to your regular supermarket and buy a white coffee mug and dye sublimation print it. Dye sublimation mugs are made specifically for this process and they are sprayed with a clear lacquer and it's the clear lacquer that absorbs the colour. So if you try to dye sublimation a regular coffee mug from the supermarket it just won't work, nothing will happen. So we're going to take this mug and we're going to apply a pre-printed logo to this so and I can show you those and this is a print that was done on the sawgrass dye sublimation printer the SG500 and we fitted two of these uh, coffee mug size logos onto one A4 sheet and then of course we've trimmed them and before we apply this to the coffee mug the next thing we have to do is we take on the reverse side of the print we use a special heat tape and the heat tape is used to hold the image firmly in place on the mug whilst we're heat pressing it and we call it a heat tape because it can withstand the temperature up to 200 degrees centigrade in the heat press without the tape melting and without the glue uh, coming off and sticking to the mug. So we're going to apply um, this printed transfer to the, to the coffee mug now. It already has the heat tape on it. And of course you have to make sure that you get the logo the right way around. Don't put it on upside down as I have done a couple of times in the past. And we're going to position it so the gap on either side of the handle is pretty much exactly the same. Then we just press the heat tape down and we're ready to go into the press. Okay, so now we're going to put the coffee mug into the heat press. So it's already open. I simply place, slide the mug in from the side and put the handle more or less in the mid position. And then we close the press. Then what we do is press timer button and we can see that the time begins to count down. Okay so the counter is just about to count down. We get the audible alarm to tell us that um, the mug is cooked and I simply press the button to silence the alarm and open the press and now at this point you can choose to either just put the mug to one side and allow it to cool down which a lot of people do or you can in some instances remove the heat tape and take the transfer off straight away. Now, if you do decide to leave the mug to cool down, one important thing to remember is there must be no movement between the paper and the mug while it's cooling down because there can still be a little bit of transfer that happens. So providing you put the mug down and the paper doesn't move, that's fine. You can leave it to cool down, load the next mug into the heat press and you're ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to take the uh, transfer off this mug now and we'll have a look at uh, the kind of result that we got. Here we go. And there we go. 